what is up everybody today I'm out here I have an unboxing a very fast unboxing this is the uh, Togo power 100 watt solar panels that I'm going to be pairing with my uh, 300 watt progency uh, progeny excuse me uh, po portable power station uh, I have an initial impressions video of this uh, power uh, station I'll link it up here somewhere so you can check that out and I will be having a more thorough, thorough review on um, this uh, portable power supply, portable power station in the future. But let's go ahead and get back to this uh, Togo Power 100 watt pan solar panel. Let's go a quick unboxing. But this is uh, some cables. Operators manual always read these Really solid construction And yeah, it's held together uh, By magnets like that but uh, I will um, leave, if you're interested in picking this up, I'll leave links in the description. Turn the camera a different way to give you a, to give you a perspective on how big this is in comparison to uh, me. Uh, gonna be talking about, let's go ahead and talk about this. It has some type of uh, coating over the uh, actual solar panels here. And in the back, you do have some uh, stands so you can have it leaning on this side also, like that. Side of here. Okay, you do have a uh, charging port here. You can you can um, hook like your cell phone up to this and power it directly from the uh, sun. So this is real nice. Now, as far as the uh, connectors that come with uh, the solar panel. It comes with this according to the manual. This one right here that I'm holding is the one times, it's a three millimeter, three meter, excuse me, Anderson to MC4 adapter. And the next one is uh, you get one Anderson to DC 7909, uh, 552 plus DC 552 one plus aviation whatever that means <laughs> as you see here now this connector right here this one will go into the uh to charge your solar panel to the input and this part right here will connect on to your um solar panel so you can charge this progeny power station with your uh, solar panel. Now for deployment of your Sol Togo solar panel, very easy. These are held together when you unfold it. 
magnets. Open it up as such, and this will give you an idea how big these are. Fold them down, let me back away a little bit. Take these flaps out, these right here, and just hook them up to whatever you gotta charge. Real simple. And to uh, fold everything back up, when you're all ready to go, come up like that, and you're on your way. Okay, time for a little Q&A, questions and answers, and these are coming directly from the owner's manual. Okay, quest first question, is the solar panel waterproof? Both sides of the solar panel are protected well from splashing water. However, the connectors which on the bag are not waterproof. The connectors that are connected on to the uh, actual solar panel, the to-go solar panel. Do not immerse the solar panel in water, and we do not recommend the manual. We do not recommend using the solar panel in, in rain and moist environments. Second question, is the solar panel chainable with other solar panels? Can you hook this solar panel up uh, with other solar panels? And the answer is yes. You can chain other solar panels that have the same nominal output voltage power in parallel. You should note that the superimposed current cannot exceed the current that the bugs, connection cables and plugs can bear. Don't hook any cables up to this that, uh, that, can't, that can't take it, can't take the current. Okay, I hope that answered your question. Okay, moving on to number three question. What if the foldable USB port solar charger is not charging my devices? Okay, answer. Bugs keep flying around here. Sorry. Uh, check the manual of your device to ensure the input voltage fits 5 volt or quick charge 3.0 and PD. Cloudy weather and indirect sunlight may cause fluctuations in the charging current. This in turn may hinder the or pre prevent charging. Place the solar panel in direct basically place it in direct sunlight to get the best uh, performance out of the uh, to-go uh, charging panel. Wait for the weather to clear. Wipe the panel, make sure the panels are clean, no obstructions, leaves, grass, or whatever. Expo expo avoid exposure to fire, water, and chemical liquid. Okay, uh, moving on to question number four. If a partially cloudy or shady, if it is partially cloudy or shady, Will the solar charger still work? Answer, of course, yes, it will work. Though the charging efficiency of it may be, uh, may fluctuate. Like uh, where I'm at now, it's heavily, it's a lot of trees around here. The solar panel is not getting, it's getting poor sunlight. Uh, there are a little bit of clouds, so it's not getting the best uh, charging performance that it could. Okay. Um, Moving on to question number five. Will the panel charge my power station? Yes, of course, I can answer that because I have the Progeny uh, power station out here with me today. Um, of course, it will charge that uh, of other brands. Um, it says, note, note that the charging power station, which has excessive power, will lead to longer charging time. Uh, my progeny power station is 300 watts. Now, if you have one of those big dog power station power stations, 1,000 watts, 1,500 watts, it's gonna take ah bugs. Sorry. <laughs> uh, it's gonna if you have a big dog power station power station, uh, 1,000 watts, 1,500 watts, then it's gonna take longer. So I hope this uh, Q and A session right here answered some of your uh, questions. Here is the Togo, Togo 100 watt solar panel outside uh, with weak sun and it's charging my uh, power station. It says about 5 watts there. This is with, with weak sun. And I have it charging my uh, Panasonic S1H. It's charging it, uh, this cord going up to the camera right here. So I do have that plugged up. Uh, 
Okay. There it is. The fan just came on. I just turned it on, turned the uh, fan. I mean, I just turned the AC on to charge my camera. Now the sun is uh, just got stronger and the charging went up to about, from the solar panel, charging the uh, portable power station. It's charging at about 35 watts. Okay, the fan, the input is charging from the solar panel at about 35 watts, 34 watts. And the camera's pulling, this camera is pulling about 19 watts. And the solar panel is charging the uh, power station here. Up next, charging directly from the solar panel. Right here, I have my uh, Sony ZV-1 charging. Uh, you can charge this directly off of the uh, solar panels. Up under here, there is, there is a uh, type A and type USB-C that you can run, you can charge directly from the solar panel charging with this cable here's a closer look at the housing of the inputs on the solar panel up next a look at some Anderson extension cables for the solar panel hey you see that uh, cord right there people this cord right here did not come with my um, to go 100 watt panel I actually I actually picked this up from Amazon this one right here with the red and black is probably about five feet and this other one is 20 feet so you got about okay probably got about 30 feet because where it connects right here this is an additional five about additional four to five feet so you're looking at it probably about I guess in a similar way around about 30 feet and uh, as far as power loss there's none same 35 to 36 watts right there as you can see that and that's what the the wall charger that uh, powers this uh, progeny uh, portable power station that's what it when I have this plugged into an AC outlet in in the house that's what it says 35 when I have it charging in that uh, Like this input, when I hook, have this in the house, it's saying the exact same thing, 35 watts. So at this distance, it's about 20 to, what, 30 feet. Uh, that That's pretty pretty darn good. And it's, it's a good practice also if you get one of these uh, portable power stations. You want it like this in the shade, and you want the uh, solar panel out there in the sun collecting that power. Hey y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. This has been a look at uh, the Tugo uh, 100 watt solar panel. Uh, I, the, primary reason, the primary reason why I purchased this is to keep my um, progeny, this is a 300 watt portable power station. It, basically to, uh, to keep this charged up when I'm out and about. If you like being out in nature, if you like hiking, camping, any of that stuff, uh, then the, these two together, a portable power station and a solar panel, uh, great combination. Uh, I have a video on this, an initial impressions video on this Progeny portable, one, 300 watt portable power station. I'll leave it linked up here, somewhere up there. But I'll leave, leave it linked up there so you can check that video out. And... Um, this is a keeper both of these are keeper and I will leave links in the description um, if you want to pick either of these items up and until the next video oh yeah also comment like subscribe and until the next video take care